that was quite the day, quite the night. Yesterday, we're going to take you live out to Katie Augustine, who's been on Johns Island surveying the damage out there from those storms of last night. Katie. Hey Rob, I spent most of my day driving around Johns Island and James Island trying to see what came of this storm last night. I did see several limbs, smaller trees falling down, but probably the biggest damage that I was able to see was this right here on James Island. It's at the corner of Wapu Drive and Plymouth Avenue. You can see a huge tree came down in this yard right here. Right across the corner from a couple businesses. It is still in the yard. Fortunately, it did not hit the home. Everyone I'm told in the home is okay. But as the tree came down, it knocked into these power lines, which is where you can see crews have been working all day to restore power. I'm told that power went out around 8 o'clock last night and it just came back on about 20 minutes ago. So around 20 hours without power, but crews still here working to clean up. The rest of the power lines after replacing those and business owners and neighbors are thankful to have their power back on. They said they've been hanging tight. They're just glad that no one was hurt. I woke up not remembering that we didn't have power. And so it was kind of, you know, when I woke up, it was, oh my God, I don't have any power. So anyway, we improvised and managed. But I'm glad they're, they're on it and it's good to know that and uh, everybody's safe. That's the main thing. I'm told by Dominion Energy that earlier today, 342 people were affected by this power outage by these lines coming down. But again, power just came on about 20 minutes ago. Crews have been working since 6 or 7 o'clock this morning to try and get this back up and running. Live in Johns Island, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two. All right, thanks so much, Katie. And it's not just Johns and James Island. Seeing that damage, fallen trees, debris, and damage from last night's severe weather can be found all throughout Mount Pleasant. News 2's Jordan Sayopa has been scoping out the damage all day and joins us live outside of a gas station on Highway 17. And Jordan, you're seeing lots of damage there.